Okay, I think I've perfected my chocolate dip strawberries dessert. What? Chocolate dip strawberries? How can that be possible? That's just so bad for you. Sugar and chocolate and all those things. That's horrible. No, it's not. It's actually good for you. And the way that I make it is high protein as well. It's even a high metabolic food. Okay. We got the Thea. Thea yogurt. That's how you say it, okay? It doesn't look like that's how you say it, but there's a thing right on the side that tells you how to pronounce it. Faya. This recipe won't work unless you pronounce it correctly. Faya. I get this at PCC. Rip it open. Dump it out. In the blender. It helps to have a blender with three horsepower, like mine is. Otherwise, you would, if you don't want to invest in one of these guys, because a normal blender is way too much work with this kind of thing, then get a hand blender, like this. And you can get one of these at Bartels for 35 bucks. So if you were to use a hand blender with this, you just put it in a bowl and just kind of work it that way. And uh, that would be, that would take you a few minutes. That would be still pretty quick. So, I got the Faya yogurt in there. And now, I'm going to put four scoops of MRN. 100% all natural, that's very important because if you get the other kind of MRM, then it has artificial sweeteners and that's toxic. Okay? Four scoops. One, two, three, four. Now we go one scoop of raw cacao powder. I got this stuff at uh, Super Supplements. Organic cacao powder, or cacao, depending on who you are and how you think it should be pronounced. So, this is just the cacao bean, ground down, ground down. And it, it makes a really fine powder, and it's essentially, this is pure chocolate, okay? This is going to make it a dark chocolate recipe. If you want to do this recipe with a milk chocolate taste, which actually is my favorite, then just don't do it with this. In fact, I'm going to pretend to put it in here, but I'm not really going to, because I prefer the milk chocolate, and that's what I'm going to make here. Okay, so, next thing, is turn on the blender. Now while the blender's going, it takes a couple of minutes, so I want to use that time efficiently. So during that time, I'm going to tell you how we can fix the economy and how you can make a million dollars literally overnight in this economy. Container that the Faya 
yogurt came out of. And you just use it to put it back in there. Pour it on in there. Oh, see what I'm talking about? Now, if I were to take the time, I would uh, put it in the refrigerator because that would firm it up and make it uh, more like a pudding-ish kind of consistency. Now you can do this same recipe with low-fat cottage cheese, organic mind you, and then when you put that back in the fridge, it comes out like a chocolate mousse. So then when you put your strawberry in it, you just scoop up a bunch. So it's a total, it's just a texture consistency preference is all that is. But then you take xylitol. I got this at uh, PCC. Oh, maybe, maybe super supplements. Yeah, I think I got it at super supplements. And dump some in a little bowl. It looks like sugar, and it tastes like sugar, but it's not. It, um, it's actually all natural, unlike Splenda that claims to be all natural, and they're not. <clears throat> so it's not going to hurt you. So you dip, dip into chocolate, dip into xylitol, sticks to it. so good. And there you have chocolate dipped strawberries. Okay, so again, you can do this recipe dark chocolate with the cacao powder or milk chocolate like I just did without it. And you can do thin recipe or thick moussey recipe. And the thick moussey recipe, you're just using the cottage cheese, organic cottage cheese. The only difference. There you go. <clears throat>